don't you visit our website, www.popfun.co.uk. You'll find heaps of things to do. You can read jokes, win prizes, upload your drawings, and loads more. And while you're there, have a go at our brand new game, Purdy's Night Flight, where you can help Purdy on her nighttime mission to feed all the hungry city cats. Check it out at www.popfun.co.uk. Sonic the Hedgehog is coming up next. You're wrong. I'm right, as usual. Excuse me while I chuck my friends. Beat my own cooking. Yeah, Ro, what's up? Same old, same old, Sonic. How about you? I had a wild dream this morning. You know anything about dreams? Not much. Sally told me once that they're usually about some kind of personal fear. Hmm. Guys, guys, Nicole just intercepted one of Robotnik's transmissions. I know it's not good news. No. It's terrible news. Listen to this. Nicole, replay intercepted transmission. Be playing, Sally. Attention, SWATBOT Unit 1. Prepare chemical payload for cloud seeding. Rendezvous with Cloudburster on Island of Nimbus. Precisely 1,200 hours. Coordinates to follow. That's all of it. He's gonna seed clouds with chemicals? Toxic rain. What's a little more toxic rain? All of Mobius is fuming with this stuff. I bet it's another one of Robotnik's crummy traps. You're probably right, Rotor, but we don't know for sure. If that island is inhabited, we need to warn people. Well, that's no prob. But what about Dustin Butnik's acid rain? I have the old plan. Stand back, guys. This could be ugly. Oh, oh my stars, and I thought my closet was a mess. Yeah. 
Yo, Rote, we're waiting. Oh, I know they're in here someplace. Aha, uh -huh. here's one. Uh, how many squat butt zoots are you having, Rotor? Three. One for Sally, one for Bunny, and one for you. <laughs> well, do I look like a SWAT bot? <gasps> Help, SWAT bot! I'm juicing! <laughs> nah, not even close, Sal. Would you look at the size of that ugly old thing? That must be the Cloudburster. Just relax, Antoine. Uh, wait, wait. I am chilling. Ready, buddy? Always ready, sugar. Do it. Swamp Thought, Team One. See what that smoke is about. They're in the smoke. Let's go! Oh, come on, Sally! That's right, pull up! Allow me, sugar! Please, <laughs> Shelby! Swat butts, they are coming! You guys guard the door. It won't take me long. Access Cloudburster security code. Attempting access, Sally. Come on, Nicole. Swat butt coming. <laughs> Just keep your cute little old niece quiet, Antoine, and we'll be fine. Return to station. will be very pleased. <laughs> That's gotta be old Nimbus Eye. Check out that convoy. What? This was Antoine's. What's wrong with your great leader? Is he too chicken to confront us himself? 
My, such a challenging tone. <gasps> Hardly appropriate for a princess. Not to mention the slander of poor Cluck species. Where is the hedgehog? In your dreams, Doctor. <sighs> no matter, Princess. Patience is one of my strong points. <laughs> He'll be along. <laughs> Don't move a muscle, gang, unless it's to practice your dance moves, of course, because we've got loads more where that came from after the break. With direct line car insurance, vandalism cover that preserves your no-claims discount is now standard, and there's no excess to pay if hit by an uninsured driver. Only available direct from us. It pays to be with the right insurer. Call 0845 246 4038 or visit directline.com. There's still time to hit the sales from your sofa, but hurry, the Hillary's Blind's biggest ever half price sale must end soon. Call before 31st of January and you can still choose from a great range of verticals, Romans, pleateds, and rollers, all at half price. Plus, with free measuring and fitting, we take care of everything for you. Our biggest ever half price sale must end on the 31st of January, so don't miss your last chance to make great savings. Book online or call now on 08000 32 88 99. One day, Emma felt fine. The next, she felt a lump. Being with Bupa, she didn't feel alone. Her consultant, Mr. Wilson, referred her to a Bupa-approved cancer unit. He made her feel like she was the only person in the world that mattered. And she felt reassured. She woke up after the operation in her clean, cozy room and felt like everything was being taken care of. And she felt at home. With the latest drugs and treatments, she could live life again knowing aftercare wasn't an afterthought, and she felt better. For the reassurance of Bupa cover, call 0800 600 500. Feel better. Okay, Steve, home insurance. How do we squeeze more money out of our customers? What's in your head, Steve? Unpack the box. Twist the envelope for me, Steve. Hit me. At NatWest, get a third off home insurance in our knockdown sale. Call 0800 158 2500. Life's too short not to take off on a Eurocamp holiday with their stunning accommodation, pools and locations and thousands of prices that have dropped compared to last year. Plus up to £100 off during school holidays. No wonder then that on a Eurocamp holiday you'll come alive. For your brochure go online or call 0844 406 0008. Life's too short not to. Are you getting stung by unauthorized credit card charges? If you're getting charged for late payments or exceeding your agreed limit, you're getting stung. Ooh. Conker's claims could get your money back at no risk to you on a no-win, no-fee basis. Visit conkersclaims.co.uk and take our 60-second test to see if we can help you reclaim your charges. And you could get your money back plus interest. Stop getting stung and swat credit card charges now at conkersclaims.co.uk. Get ready for our super slick new series, Nano Boy. What? Oscar is a small kid with a huge secret. He's the shortest boy in class, but when big trouble strikes the microcosmos, Oscar de-atomizes to become the world's tiniest superhero. Nano Boy. Piece of cake. If you think it's tough being the little guy, try saving the world when you're tinier than the average cell. Judy calls, Nano Boy. I'm on my way. That's Nano Boy, now showing on Pop. I tell you what, Puddy, I can't wait to practice those dance moves you just taught me. I'm going to be the coolest dragon on the dance floor. Come on, let's get back to it. Check all functions. There will be no errors. Dr. Robotnik, the guest of honor has arrived. Excellent. Let the party begin. Huh?
Welcome, Hedgehog. You're right on time. Get ready, Snively. Patience, Snively. Patience. Now! This lame old fire. Ah! Sugar hop behind. Besides, we're not the important thing right now. You're not? You know, I am thinking not to disagree with you, my princess, but I. Antoine, if we don't stop Robotnik, we'll all be swimming in real acid rain. Look for yourself. Gotta be a way to take out that sucker. Cloudburster in position, sir. Prepare to commence seeding. <laughs> that blimpo's gonna chunk. Sacre bleu! What can we be doing? Good question, Ant. Sonic, we have to do something. Hey! Ah! <gasps> oh. Oh. Ah! What the hell is eating that hunky little hedgehog? He looks like he's seen a ghost. He seems to be daydreaming. We have to snap him out of it. We're all done for. Sonic, Sonic, you uncivilized pincushion! Wake up! Wake up! Sonic! It's Sally! Can you hear me? Sonic! Sonic! Come on, Sonic! Sonic, where were you? When the brains... Sonic, we need your help! Sonic, can you hear me? Sonic! Sonic, where were you when the brains were handed out? Brains, brains, brains. Sonic, hurry! He's gonna release the acid rainstorm! Gotta use my brain. Hurry, Sonic! Man. If there was some way to use those wells, I could make it rain on old Butnik's parade. How? Sal, got it past. Cool idea. Got it, Juice. Yo, bro, Butnik! Got a little surprise. I don't like surprises, Hedgehog. Especially from you. 
but this one will be a kick. Promise. What is this foolish hedgehog doing? What is that miserable rodent up to, Snivelly? I don't know, sir. Finally lost, Princess. Snively, what is that? I suppose it's the hedgehog, sir. I don't like that sound. Change our course! Can't fix. Check it out. Let's get out of here. Obviously, we are going to crash. I do believe Robotnik has finally bought the farm. He has a farm? Clever than you, Hedgehog. But the final move is mine. Dr. Robotnik, we've sustained major damage to the main circuitry. Then get it under control. Sir, we must return to Robotropolis immediately or risk crashing. Goodbye, Hedgehog. Why won't the missile launch? Circuit grids are severely damaged, sir. We must turn back before we lose all power. Any sign of Robotnik? Nope. He's toast. Now, how do I get you guys out of that chicken coop? Sacre bleu! Now what is happening? Felt like a quake! Sonic. The river. Oh, my stars. It's overflowing. That's not all. The island is sinking. Sal, press the power ring against the bars. Maybe it'll drain the juice. I don't know, Sonic. That's a lot of energy. Hey, you're always telling me I need a plan. Yo, this is a plan. Something. I cannot swim! Okay. Keep your fingers crossed. Hold on, Sal. Hold on! I can't! We help you, princess! It worked! Oh, Sonic! That was a great plan. Hey, I just figured that. I hate to be an old party pooper, but I got this here sinking feeling. 
Oh my gosh! Sorry, Bill. Sal, hold on to me. Bunny, hold on to Sal. And grab Bunny. We're gonna do some major juicing. History, Sal? I wish I knew, Sonic. I wish I knew. You know, I'm no expert, Sonic, but my guess is that your bad dream was some kind of a warning. So, from now on, you'll think before you act, right? Uh, Sonic? Oh, you're the most mondo, beautiful thing I've ever seen. You make my heart pound, my mouth water. Yes, there's nothing like a chili dog. Oh, brother. Party people, we've got a whole hour of pop madness now, so put your hands in the air, it's pop party! Boy. I'm on my way. cannot be imperfect. Mito must have perfect pitch and a range of octaves. Mito Ladies must... Ladies and gentle germ, microcosm's latest pop sensation, pharyngitis. Thank you, thank you. So, Miss Jitus, if I may ask, what is the secret behind your incredible voice? <laughs> secret? It's all in the genes, honey. Part of my personal DNA, a gift from my ancestors. <laughs> Well, I did it fast and Oscar. Here we go again. 99, but it was an easy test. Big deal. Oscar is still smarter than you any time of the day. I think. Oh, really? Let's put this to a test. A real test. Challenge? Hmm. 
Uh, I have band practice. Uh Oscar's afraid of a little challenge because he didn't study for it. Oscar, Oscar is a fraidy cat. Oscar is a fraidy cat. Okay, bring it on. But can you do all of this? and get ready, we've got a big one. I need my best man on this and no mistakes. On my way. Farron who? Pharyngitis, an artist specializing in harmonious and tonal performances for large assemblies. A pop singer. So we, the Nano Squad, are supposed to protect a pop singer from out of town. Pharyngitis is no ordinary uh, pop singer. She's an important source of morale and psychological reinforcement that I find highly uh, attractive. Uh, effective. I mean to say effective. Mm, right, sir. You can count on us. Treat her with all due respect. Make sure you, uh... We get you an autograph. Uh, just tell her to sign it to Flaggy, her biggest fan. Sir! Yes, sir! Thank you. Thank you all for recognizing my genius. <laughs> Not that it's too hard to do. Miss Pharyngitis, we're the Nano Squad. The security you were promised. The only thing you secured is my complaint about your inappropriate method of arrival. Do Whoa. you know who I am? I am the greatest voice in the microcosmos. I am happiness in the song. Poor widow we not. Did the bad boy and his dogs upset you? Stand. Sit. Play dead. I just love my widowina, yes I do. So fashionable with her genetically built-in obedience gene, she's so perfect. Unbelievable! I calculate her voice may be capable of up to 12 octaves. From here, me, 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 to here, me, me, me. An amazing range. <laughs>
imposter. Uh, you think? This slab does not go with my dress. And do something about the air conditioning. It's affecting my vocal cords. My range and tone will be jeopardized. I wouldn't worry too much about that, Miss Jitus. In a few moments, your voice will be mine. I was born with perfect genes, but Mito is not yet perfect. There is one more thing that I lack. Your own diva? No! The gene that contains the chemical information for your voice. I need part of your DNA. I'm taking what you've inherited. No, oh, why do I even bother? Effects. Your singing gene is now mine. Huh? Good work, Rena. You found the kidnapper. <laughs> my goodness, what a fascinating device. Stop touching my transponder. Everything all right? <gasps> I'm guessing that's a no. So hypothetically, the beam would be activated thus. Ever heard of D Radio Durans? Certainly. It's one of the strongest, toughest life forms in the entire microcosmos. Oh, dear. <laughs> something we don't see every day. Talk to my hand. Battle assessment, right. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. <sighs> With pleasure. Uh, of course! Huddle team! Let's go! Now! What? Bar. Ruff. Solve this fluid dynamic equation. Can't resist orders. Of course not. You have the obedience gene of Rena transplanted in you. No! <laughs> hmm, unfinished business. I should be able to fix the gene transplant machine and give her back her voice in no time. Oh, the nerve of that Oscar thinks he can be better than me, huh? Oh, oh come on! Let me show you what real music is. Glad you've stayed tuned, gang, because we've got more pop treats coming right up. I can't wait to see the next batch of videos, so let's go. See you soon, gang.
Get the Daily Telegraph on Saturday as part of your weekend ritual and get a free DVD inside every copy. Relive the momentous events of the 70s and 80s that shaped our world. The politics, the fashions, the music and the conflicts. Collect all 21 discs on offer, starting with 1970 free inside Saturday's Daily Telegraph and 1971 free inside the Sunday Telegraph. According to this statement, I've just bought a pneumatic drill. Could have. And ruined my credit file with a loan on a monster truck. Whatever your identity theft problem, as a Capital One customer, your own personal advisor will help you resolve your case. Join now and get a low rate plus 0% on balance transfers and purchases, fixed until November the 1st, 2008. I'm calling Capital One. What's in your wallet? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. New Garnier Pure Extra Strong, a daily purifying pad with eucalyptus and zinc. It purifies pores, targets impurities, and reduces shine. So the first impression is the right impression. New Garnier Pure Extra Strong. Take care. Garnier. It's the SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Cards Collection. Every week, a faux packed magazine and cards to collect. Issue one with two packs of cards. 99p. It's the home base sale, and on top of our sale prices, it's 10% day this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That means there's an extra 10% off everything. Home base. Okay, Steve. Home insurance. How do we squeeze more money out of our customers? What's in your head, Steve? Unpack the box. Twist the envelope for me, Steve. Hit me. At Nat West, get a third off home insurance in our knockdown sale. Call 0800 158 2500. Introducing the Chevrolet Captiva. With the option of seven seats and on-demand all-wheel drive, it's a premium SUV without the premium. The Chevrolet Captiva range from 16995. January a bit of a kick with the hot and spicy quarter and the spicy Cajun chicken wrap. Part of the new spicy menu from McDonald's. Are we going out then? We'll go out there in the freezing wastes. You must be mad. It's my birthday. It is his birthday. It is his birthday. Well, why didn't you say so? Of course we're going out. Is it smart? Smart casual, probably. Yeah, oh, come on then, guys, let's go. Just brighten it up. I bet you're glad you tuned into Pop Party, aren't you, gang? I'm having a blast. Now, let's get back on the dance floor, because it's time to party once again. for trying to dial in a bird. I can do some research to find out what the worm fears. There are over 44,000 species of worms and 2,700 different kinds of earthworms. This could be complex. Hook it! What? It's a worm, right? So we hook it. But... One big hook coming up. Teleport it away! Open the wormhole! Put a worm through a wormhole. Good one. 
That's not gonna work, is it? Nope. Great. <laughs> You guys all right? No. I got it covered. Hey, Mr. Worm. Why don't you take on someone your own size? Worms are supposed to be small. Ow! Let's see a worm out of this one. Man, oh boy, you saved the city. Yeah, he did it all by himself. I saw the whole thing. Well, I, uh... Mm. Uh, he's the savior of the microcosmo. He's the savior of the subterranean city. Three cheers for the savior! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Must be the spandex. All right, people, it's project week, and I know exactly what we need to do to get an A. Any questions? No. Uh, aren't we supposed to be a team, Oscar? Yes, we can all contribute. Just like the ingredients in a cake. I can bake. Now I can make pizza. I'm pleased to make curry. I can eat curry with pizza and cake. Mm. And I can help us get an A. You'll just have to learn to trust me. Oops. <laughs> uh, I'll be back soon. <laughs> Memorize them. <laughs> hmm? Duty calls, Nano Boy. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right, boys, start counting the loot. Over there! We can take them down with the Nano Wembo combo. Stay put! I got it covered! Uh oh, who's the little guy? Uh, get off me! Look, he did it again! All hail the hero of the microcosmos! Uh, yeah, hero. <laughs> I get a strange feeling Nano Boy doesn't need us anymore. Yep. Nano Boy, over here! Look this way! <laughs> Microcosmos Daily. Savior of the Microcosmos. Hail to the hero. Hero saves the day again. He ain't heavy, he's my hero. The Knight in Tights. <laughs> this is my formula to build a photon inductor. Ta da! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah. May I present to you the Photon Electromagnetic Inductor? Now, allow me to demonstrate. for plan B. Guys? Guys? Tim? Ah, uh, not now. Greetings, Nano Squad. We've just received reports of worm sightings near the perimeter of Subterranean City. 
Worms, that's Nano Boy's specialty. He knows all about worms. How they have five hearts and no eyes. How they breathe through their bodies because they have no lungs. How they move using all the muscles in their bodies because they have no legs. How they recycle stuff like dead plants, poop, and decaying animals into valuable nutrients necessary for rick and fertile soil? Yep, he's got it covered. This is the mother of the worm you defeated last time, except it's much meaner and bigger. I'll need you to stop the slimy creature before it gets there. Consider it can, Commander. Go, Nano. Don't forget the postcard. Uh-oh. Uh, not good. That was a close one, huh? Kind of occupied uh. here, flying the jet and stuff. Sorry, can't chat. Doing research. Did you know that worms are both male and female, and that they are formed by splitting themselves apart? Look, guys, I'm sorry I got caught up with doing things myself. And I guess all that media coverage did get to my head a little. How about a little good old teamwork to whip some worm butt? Huh? I'll work in a good deal for the figurines. And t-shirts. And mugs, too. It's Smackdown it's Metal, Metal Style time. time. So, any ideas? Hmm. <laughs> the worm has taken the bait. I repeat, the worm has taken the bait. <sighs> you have no idea how stupid that sounds. I'm in position. Hurry up, Nano Boy. There, right about now. Whoever said too much sunlight is bad for the skin must be talking about worms. That's why worms like to stay underground where it's dark and moist. They will dry up and die if they're exposed to sunlight for too long. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> Look, it's a hero! We saved the city again. <sighs> Three cheers for Three that cheers boy! For I'm sorry, but I'd like to clarify. Uh? These are my team members. Isaac and CJ, we're a team. I couldn't have done it without them. Hey. Uh, three, three cheers, cheers for Nano Squad! Three cheers for Nano Squad! <laughs> Teamwork one, worm zero. Hey guys, um, how's it going? Um, look, I know we're supposed to work as a team, but I didn't, and I'm sorry. Huh? 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 Ah? Huh? Well, we need someone to help us finish up all the food. <laughs> Count me in! On behalf of the team, I present to you... Mount Cracker. Thank you. This is no ordinary volcano. My team will explain. The cone is made of burnt pizza crust. <laughs> the lava is made of curry. It is a lot hotter than it looks. Farmers and farm animals like to stay near volcanoes because of its rich, fertile soil. And for the finishing touch, a dash of baking soda. <laughs> well done.
done, well done. Hey, Oscar, what do you think? Can we eat the volcano now? You know, Tim, you're right. Technically, we could. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
a repair bill that runs into hundreds of pounds. Could you cope without hot water or central heating in the winter? If you can't do without your boiler, then British Gas Home Care is something you can't do without. With home care, there's no charge for parts or labour, and call-outs are unlimited. To find out more about the home care range, call British Gas now on 0800 466 322. If you've been refused credit elsewhere, nobody tries harder than Welcome Car Finance to get you a newer car. Every year, we approve thousands of people for car credit. Many of our top-name cars are under two years old and all come with an independent quality and safety check and full MOT. Call Welcome Car Finance now and we'll give you at least £1,000 for your old car, plus £250 cash back. Call Welcome Car Finance now on 0800 040 9000 or visit our website. Brat Super Babies from their new DVD movie. Super Babies and the Super Pets. They really talk. Hey! Super Babies tell you which direction you're flying them. Brat Super Babies come with a pet and a cape for you. Each sold separately. Rainbow Aqua Draw gives you so much more, more drawing fun for everyone. And best of all, it's watery fun. No ink, no brushes, no paint to run. New Rainbow Aqua Draw is amazing. And when the picture fades, you can draw another. They'll love creating rainbow patterns, drawings, and more. 
And there's the fantastic Thomas Aquadraw. It's simply magic. Make your own tracks and he follows them again and again. That's really something. Thomas Aquadraw and new Rainbow Aquadraw. Trust Tommy. It's always the perfect time for a short break at Centre Parks. Call 08705 200 202 for day times and night times. First times, fun times, and once in a lifetimes. For your free DVD and brochure, visit centreparks.co.uk or call now on 08705 200 202. My little baby born, mummy, look, I can swim, really swims and she hits the water from Zap Creation. I bet you're glad you tuned into Pop Party, aren't you, gang? I'm having a blast. Now, let's get back on the dance floor because it's time to party once again. Thank you. 
Competition time! Horton hears a who is the bizarre story of Horton the Elephant, who one day hears a cry for help coming from a speck of dust. As it turns out, the speck of dust is home to the Who's, who live in their city of Whoville. And ten lucky winners can join Horton and the Who's with their very own copy of Dr. Zeus's Horton Hears a Who DVD. To be in with a chance of winning this brilliant prize, all you have to do is answer this question. What is an elephant's nose called? Is it A, a snout, B, a trunk, or C, a beak? If you think you know the answer, send it in along with your name, age, and full address to rory at popclub.tv. Or you can phone 0901 307 3316. That's 0901 307 3316. Just say your answer and leave me your name and phone number. The competition closes this Friday, the 14th of March, and remember to ask permission from the bill payer, because calls cost 50p. You can also enter online at www.popfun.co.uk. Why don't you visit our website, www.popfun.co.uk? You'll find heaps of things to do. You can read jokes, win prizes, upload your drawings, and loads more! 
And while you're there, have a go at our brand new game, Purdy's Night Flight, where you can help Purdy on her nighttime mission to feed all the hungry city cats. Check it out at www.popfun.co.uk. Now on Pop, Super Mario World. Well, that's that. The only problem is, huh, what now? Super Mario World, Super Mario World, it's a blast from the past. It's Super Mario World, you got to move fast. Mario and Luigi are doing what they can. Yoshi and the princess are giving them a hand. Super Mario World, Super Mario World, it's a blast from the past. It's a blast! Uktar, bring teacher. Why, thank you, Uktar. A caterpillar! <laughs> We're my bunga, dude. Mm. Uh -uh. That's not funny, Uktar. I could have eaten that worm. Inside, now, both of you. Yoshi, no understand why Princess Mad. Caterpillar delicious! <laughs> school looks like a blast! Let's go! You will not go to school. No lizard of mine is going to learn good citizenship. Aw, oh, come on, King Dad. No. You will grow up to be sneaky, two-faced, cheating illiterates, just like your dad. You forgot lying. Lying? Of course. An excellent trait. No school. Understand? Yes, King Dad. Like King Dad said, lying is an excellent trait. <laughs> Koopa kids, what they do here, me no like. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United Lands of Dinosaur World. And to the repulsiveness for which he stands, one Koopa underground, reprehensible, with lizards and Koopas for all. Hip, hop, what are you doing here? We want to go to school, except King Dad doesn't want us to. I'm sure he doesn't. You might learn how to behave yourself. No way, Princess. Cave people just say no to Koopa kids. The whole town's upset, Princess. I'll be right back, class. Look bad for you, Koopa dudes. But Uktar know how get lizard kids on Princess good side. Here. <laughs> but Yoshi thought... Oh. Fresh from Chickle Tree. Teacher did dudes blow bubbles. Biggest bubbles, best! You complain about the Koopas, but when they decide to do something to improve themselves, you're against it. Well, she's got a point. Uh, don't you think we should give them a chance? Mm, maybe one chance. Good! I'm sure even a Koopa can be made into a good citizen. I don't like gum in my classroom, and this is why. But we thought... You're new here, so I won't punish you. But from now on, no gum, unless you've got enough to share with everyone. <laughs> now, Uktar, I want you and Yoshi to show Hip and Hop around today. What? No way, cave babe. It's that, or clean the woolly mammoth stable after school. Ooh, all done, Rick. A snack of fire, put in your basket. Good. Outside, everyone. Time for recess. Time to heat up this wimpy game. <laughs> Hang on, kids. I'll get another one. Fireballs, yum! 
Student Utar, we should make them feel at home. From now on, I want you all to be good friends, all right? Good. Let's all get back to the classrooms. Sure is quiet around here. I wonder where Hip and Hop are. Well, whatever they're doing, I hope they're up to no good. Think I'll take a look around. All right, students, we're going to have a science fair. Cross eggplant with rutabaga, get eggabaga. Or cross ooktar with broccoli, and get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. Oh. Princess, I still can't believe you turned hip and hop into good students. Good might be stretching it, but still I'm awfully proud of them. Wait till you see their project. And she hasn't seen the best of it. Remember how it goes? You tap once, I turn it a little. I tap twice, I give you the works. <laughs> When will those awful offspring of mine learn to pick up their pipes? The war pipe to Dome City? I wonder. Only one way to find out. Hip, you want to explain your project for the judges? This is a volcano! Hmm. How's it do that? Like real volcano, Oogta! Yeah, make our Eggabaga look like gay old Stegosaurus burger. Hey, me get idea. Come on. Maybe with lots of fertilizer, plant grow extra fast. I know it. The little scale bait snuck off to school. Wow! King Dad, you don't belong here. Neither do you. When I get you and your brother home... Give us a chance. We're doing an experiment even you'd be proud of. Yeah! You can never predict exactly when a volcano is going to erupt. <laughs> the temperature's rising. It's getting hot. Show. Yeah, going down easy, gonna swallow you whole. 
No school tomorrow, boys. You mean it's a holiday? No, you're expelled forever. The lava's headed for the city. No problem, old princess. Right back. What'd you do with it? A little bed warming for Papa Koopa. Yeah. Ah, get me out of here! I'll send you to school! Gladly. Gonna work. Why don't they go up? Dad? Mm -hmm. It's time. You'd be a really nice catch for somebody. Please. Just for Men takes five easy minutes, targets only the gray hair, and can start something great. Yeah! Just for Men. The great MFI Summer Sale. Great deals and great payment options with up to 50% off and up to four years interest-free credit on selected kitchens and up to 60% off selected bedrooms and bathrooms. So spend less lolly this summer at the great MFI Summer Sale. But hurry, it won't last forever. Say hello to our MOT and servicing technicians and their latest diagnostic equipment. Giving you our best level of MOT and servicing ever. Oh. <coughs> Quick fit or fix it. Pain when moving? The deep penetrating formula of Voltarol Emil Gel P can be attracted to painful inflamed areas, so the pain relieving power is concentrated exactly where you need it. Voltarol, direct relief from pain to help keep you moving. Voltarol, the joy of movement. Wouldn't it be nice if you could make last night's dream today's reality? With a Lloyd's TSB loan, you could do exactly that, instantly. Not only could the money be in your account the very same day you apply, but we can offer you a great rate, 7.2% APR typical for Premier account customers. Lloyd's TSB, for the journey. Happy Meal hamburgers are only made from whole cuts of beef, all sourced from British and Irish farms. That's what makes McDonald's. The great MFI Summer Sale. Great deals and great payment options with up to 50% off and up to four years interest-free credit on selected kitchens and up to 60% off selected bedrooms and bathrooms. So spend less lolly this summer at the great MFI Summer Sale. But hurry, it won't last forever. It's our second animal. We have to go, eh? I thought we'd have a taste of Tuscany before we got there. It's a new sauce made with a sun-ripened tomatoes, Chianti wine, and aromatic herbs. I wonder if sauces are this good in Tuscany, eh? Hey, let's just stay here. Today Tuscany, tomorrow Rome, and then... <sighs> My new taste of Italy sauces. When is your Dolio day? Wait a second. We've got all the latest chart hits and cartoon kicks. Featuring top shows like Winx Club. This whole thing turned out pretty well after all. Gray Space. What took you so long? Lola and Virginia. Hello, Lola. And loads more. Hey! So join in the girly get-together. There are great prizes to win and cool songs to sing. Pop Girl, the number one choice for girls with sparkle. Channel 626. Pop Girl. Oh, 
I have to go to bed so soon? Well, like they say in Brooklyn, early to bed, early to catch the worm. Or is it the bagel? Mmm, the worm's good. Tell Yoshi bedtime story now. Tell how Luigi finds Yoshi and Yoshi rescue Princess. Okay, okay. Well, it all started when Mario, the princess, and I came to Dinosaur World for a vacation. We banished King Koopa from Princess Toadstool's Mushroom Kingdom, but he'd found a way to escape into the dinosaur world. And when we got to Dome City, the place was deserted. Koopa football players grabbed the princess. <gasps> Mario was attacked by a Koopa wizard and a Magnum Bill. And I found myself face to face with the Fire Sumo. I fell for hours! Oh, hours long time! Well, it seemed like hours. Anyway, I was falling. Nothing below me but boiling lava. Good thing I found a magic balloon. Whoa! Luckily, a skull raft came by. Skulls? <gasps> skulls mean bad medicine. Well, these skulls were good medicine for me. Unfortunately, they were heading straight for a lava waterfall! Yeah. I locked up and landed on a block ledge. Luigi bash blocks now! All right, wise guy. So what happened next? <laughs> Luigi find Yoshi egg. How'd you know? Um, huh? <laughs> Yoshi think Luigi mama! <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't think it was so funny. Oh, what's the matter, baby? Are you hungry? No, I don't eat. <laughs> Hi. Uh, looking for your baby? Here. Fed and burped. Ready to go. Mama Luigi! Mama Luigi! <laughs> Get back, you despicable dinosaurs! You're dealing with a licensed plumber here! plumber too! No! No, no, no! story. So anyway, there we were, about to become worm food. Oh, Yoshi, hungry! You'll have to wait. Those caterpillars are hungrier. Oh, Yoshi, no, wait. Yoshi, hungrier. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> more. Oh, boy, this kid 
it makes Mario look like he's on a diet. Chow down, Yoshi. Uh, I'm a coming, Luigi. Hey, is this wee dinosaur giving you a hard time, little brother? I'll fix him for you. No, Yoshi! That's my brother, Mario! Uh, now I know how a meatball feels. Ugh, Yoshi no like meatballs. Yuck! I've been slobbered! That'll teach you to mess with my new little buddy, Yoshi. Mama Luigi! Cool it, Caterpillar Breath! I'm not your... Mama? Mama Luigi? <laughs> Luigi, King Koopa has the princess locked up in his Coney Island disco palace. Now, I fought my way out, and I've been looking for you ever since. Now, we gotta go back and rescue her. Well, then we better go now, before I get scared just thinking about it. Mama Luigi, no leave Yoshi. No, I won't leave you. But you have to promise to behave yourself and stop calling me Mama. <laughs> Mama Luigi. <laughs> and so we found ourselves overlooking King Koopa's neon castle. Luckily, Mario was able to get us in the same way he got out. That's when the real fun started. <laughs> Yikes! Where's the light switch? On the ceiling. You see that block up there? You bash it, Luigi. You're taller. Okay, but you hold Yoshi. Hey, g give me a boost, Mario. You stay, Yoshi. Hey, watch the landing, Luigi. It's the liftoff that got me. Uh-oh, where's Yoshi? First you're here and then you're not. You never seem to stay in one spot. I'm looking. Secret weapon, Luigi. That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario. Uh. All right, Koopa. Free the princess, or Yoshi here will eat your castle piece by piece until we find her. I can build another castle, but you can't build another princess. Without this key, you'll never find her. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, I'll be back. And when I do, that little monster of yours is going on a crash diet. Hey, good work, Yoshi. Um, you didn't swallow that key, did you? Ugh, key no tastes good. Oh. Oh. And so, we found ourselves back in Dome City, safe and sound. Thanks to you, Yoshi.
Good night, Yoshi. Good night, Mamba Luigi. <laughs> Bet you're glad you tuned in to Pop Party, aren't you, gang? I'm having a blast. Now, let's get back on the dance floor, because it's time to party once again. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Oh. Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you'll see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Alligator nostril, climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to take that on our magic school bus. Rock the river of love on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic, magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. This is really embarrassing, Wanda. It's okay, Arnold. You're with me. What if somebody catches us in here? Who's gonna catch you in the girls' bathroom? Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany? Who's Tiffany? I don't know any Tiffany. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Arnold. I say we don't need this water. My model of the waterworks shows exactly how water is collected and stored and cleaned and delivered and... Jan Berger with a side of snores. As your partner, I cannot do a report on water without water. That's enough. I'll take the bucket to class. You clean it up. Okay. Oh, and don't forget Miss Frizzle's keys. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Arnold. Arnold? Tiffany? <laughs> Tiffany, wait! I can explain! <sighs> Maybe I should have stayed home today. Come on, Arnold. It's time for your report. Yikes. I knew I should have stayed home today. Careful, Wanda. You'll drown my waterworks. Arnold, a properly constructed waterworks cannot drown. What's that noise? <laughs> Good morning, Miss Frizzle. Oh, everyone ready to find out where water goes and what it does? Ready when you are, Miss Frizzle. Actually, I'd rather hit the surf ride at Waterland. Oh, Waterland, of course. The perfect introduction to our investigation of water. <gasps> are you suggesting that we really go there? I don't see why not. Yeah! Oh, boy! What a great idea! Wait, going to Waterland has nothing to do with the serious study of water. Sure it does, Arn. We could think about a mighty river as we're riding the flumerang. This brochure shows the new storm cloud simulator they just built. And we could appreciate rainfall on the raindrop parachute ride. But what about our report? It's all about how we use waterworks to get clean water where we need it, when we need it. See? Oh, it really is quite wonderful, Arnold. But compared to Waterland, it's dry, dry, dry. Water's no fun unless you're in it. 
Oh, water. What goes around comes around. A veritable merry-go-round of moisture. To the bus! Yay! Waterland! Yay! Wow! Look at the rain gauge. It really rained a lot. Yeah, more than two inches in the last hour. According to my research, that's a school record for rainfall. Come on, you guys. We're going to study some serious water. Uh, Wanda, do you have the keys you borrowed from me? Um... Oh, um, never mind. I have a spare key somewhere in here, I think. <gasps> here it is. And here we go! Wait a minute. I have a hunt. This is not the way to Waterland. This is a field trip! <laughs> what happened? Welcome to the real Waterland! Where everything is water! Even us! I hate getting wet! As I always say, Arnold, a little water never hurt anyone. Whoa! This is awesome! I hope we're not going to stay in this rain gauge all day. That would be boring. <laughs> and we wouldn't want that. Is it just me, or is it getting really warm? Um, Miss Frizzle, what happens when water gets warm? Do I really want to know? Gosh, I'm rising into the air. When water is warmed by the sun, it evaporates. You mean we're evaporating? stayed on the ground. I want to be water again. We still are water, Arnold. When water evaporates, it turns into water vapor. It's a gas, Arnold. We've been vaporized. I get it. First we were a liquid, then we became a gas. I still don't like it. Uh, 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 oh, it's getting cold up here. Hey, I'm on vaporizing. Look at my hand. I'm turning into tiny droplets. That's because we're changing back into a liquid. We are condensing. Water is as water does. Whee! Miss Frizzle, you turned into a cloud. Oh, isn't this heavenly? Wow. I never knew a cloud was water, too. <laughs> we're moving. This is fantastic. Duck! <laughs> It's not easy being a cloud. Now, now where are we going? Wherever we're going, it looks to me like it's not our choice. As someone once said, clouds are the playful fancies of the mighty wind. Does that mean that clouds go wherever the wind takes them? In a word, Keisha. Yes! Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Then we could end up anywhere. Right as rain, Arnold. Water goes everywhere. Oh, no! Oh, hi, gang. What a brilliant show. I'm having a great time. But let's keep moving. More top tunes coming up after the break. The magic, the magic beats. Create a world of magic with Bindi's. 
Choose your design, eject your bindies onto the tray, grab the sprayer, spray your bindies with water, and wow, they magically join together. Look what I made. Create 3D bindies, a rainbow of colours to collect. No heat, no glue, no mess. Great art bindies. From character. At News Agents Now, all new Invader trading cards from Doctor Who Battles in Time. Kick off your collection with this magazine guide, card album, and two booster packs. Tyco Rapid Assault. Rapid fire 12-shot cannon. Maximum firepower at your control. Tyco Rapid Assault. People of Britain, challenge Churchill to give you a better home insurance deal. Home insurance? Oh, yes. OK, can you guarantee to beat the renewal price on my home insurance? Oh, yes. Can I make a claim without filling in any forms? Oh, yes. Can I have your autograph? Oh, yeah, I'm all steady. Come on, homeowners, challenge Churchill. Yes. If you haven't claimed for three years, we guarantee to beat the renewal price for your home insurance. Got my whole life in this thing. Check out this new song I'm mixing. Got the new uh, Rock Aware campaign. Shot it in Aspen. Love playing chess online. Hold on. This game is over. Gotta track all my investments because I'm retired, right? <laughs> my passport says Sean, but you may know me by another name. Holla. HP Pavilion Notebooks. The computer is personal again. By the end of this month, World Vision has to find sponsors for 3,000 children. Children who have to choose between drinking water like this or not drinking at all. So, we're looking to you to give 3,000 children a fairer choice in life. So make the right choice and sponsor a child now for just 60p a day. Call World Vision on 0800 50 10 10 or go online at sponsor.org. What brings you here, Tony? I had a bad job. I sat next to Bob and he smelled. He smelled? So I made a decision and got this position thanks to S1. S1. They've got more jobs than any other. They even found a job for his mother. Find success with S1 Jobs. Who's the flute going? Gorgeous makes effort look effortless. Gorgeous can't be ordinary, even if it tries. Gorgeous is worth it. I park in the company car park. Good! How often do you drive to work? Three times a week. Good! That'll help your insurance work. See how much an RAC motor quota could save you. For a tailored quote, call 0800 910 910 now. What's more, with only 35,000 car insurance policies including RAC roadside cover left, now's the time to join. Brat Super Babies from their new DVD movie. Super Babies and the Super Pets. They really talk. Super Babies tell you which direction you're flying them. Super Rat Super Babies come with a pet and a cape for you, each sold separately. We love half time on Pop. Pop gang, it's half term, and to celebrate, we've gone Sonic mad. In Popcorn all this week, I'm going to tell you all about three brand new Sonic DVDs that are available to buy from the 10th of March. They are Sonic Boom and eight other episodes, Warp Sonic and eight other episodes, and Fed Up with Antoine and seven other episodes. So grab a chili dog and get comfy. It's going to be a speedy ride. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Come on, guys. How about a round of applause? Even a square of applause? 
Sonic, just get the circuit interrupter ready. These DVDs feature your favorite superhero doing what he does best. They tell the story of Sonic and his brave band of freedom fighters as they struggle to free planet Mobius from the clutches of the evil Dr. Robotnik. Sonic Boom shows the super speedy hedgehog, Princess Sally Acorn and Tails join forces with the freedom fighters. Sally discovers a secret message during a raid on a Robotropolis plant. Bing? Oh my gosh, Sonic, my father called me Bing when I was little. Nicole, give me a message origin. Sal, we gotta put the pedal to the metal. I have to check this out. It may be from my father. Message origin, area 12, sector 9. She discovers that the message is coming from the dark swamp and that it may just have been sent by her father. The gang set off to investigate. In Warp Sonic, during a mission to take out one of Robotnik's facilities, Sonic, Sally and Antoine find themselves cornered by SWAT bots. Which way, Sam? Go right. Oh, you were kidding about going right, right? Right. You mean left, right? Right. I knew that. We like to head with you guys, but we got a motor. When all hope seems lost, a goat named Griff comes to their rescue, and he takes them to Lower Mobius, where he explains that their hidden town has a failing power source. These episodes are enough to send any Sonic fan into a spin. And guess what? I'm giving 10 lucky winners the chance to win all three DVDs in this week's competition. That's enough Sonic to last a lifetime, so don't miss it. See you next time. field trip. Can we go back now, Miss Frizzle? 
Oh, I'd like to help you out, Arnold, but... Oh, no. We're evaporating again. I love this part. Who knows what happens next? Hens! Oh, we condense into water droplets. But we've been there to done that. And it won't be the last time, Arnold. What happens next? We become clouds. Then we get blown who knows where by the wind. Oh, and next? And fall somewhere else as rain again! <gasps> Excellent observation, Wanda. Are you suggesting that water never, ever stops moving? Ever? In the words of my great aunt Matilda, no! Oh, 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 oh. Here we go again. You mean water keeps evaporating? Condensing? Raining? Collecting? Forever? Oh, bingo! That's why its movement is called the water cycle. But water has to go somewhere. Oh, it does! It goes around and around and around and around and around, round, round, round and around. We could be water for the rest of our lives. We could stay stuck in the water cycle forever! Wahoo! Wait a minute. This is a field trip, right? I mean, we've got to get back by 3 o'clock. Don't we? Oh, no! It's already 3 o'clock! I'm gonna miss batting practice. And I've got a dance lesson. Not to worry, mates. It's only 3 o'clock in London. London? <laughs> Got it, Miss Frizzle. Since you're the one who turned us into water, just turn us back into regular kids. Oh, unfortunately, Keisha, I can't do that because the key I use to turn us all into water is also water. Well, don't you have another key? Would you care to take that one, Wanda? <laughs> well, I, um, I borrowed Miss Frizzle's keys when Arnold and I, um, went into the, uh, girls' bathroom. Um, Arnold? I, uh, I... I left the key in the bathroom. Arnold! But that's not all. I also forgot to empty the sink, and I think I forgot to turn the water off all the way. What if the whole school is flooded? Arnold, how could you? Well, if if we'd just done our reports in the first place, none of this would have happened. Look out! Taxi cab at 3 o'clock! Ah! What do we do now? Remember the water cycle. What comes after raindrops? Evaporation! Whoa, that was close. I knew I should have stayed home today. It's cloud time again, you guys! Seems to me the only way out of the water cycle is to stop being water. An absorbing solution, Keisha. I've got it. Clouds are water and can go everywhere, right? Wherever the wind blows, Wanda. So what if we could blow our clouds wherever we want to go? I think that could be arranged. Awesome! The bus can blow us back to school! Then we can rain down, find the spare key. And stop being water! And I can turn off the faucet and save the school. Here we go!
see the key? That's not all I saw. The bathroom's flooding and Liz is stuck in the faucet. Maybe she was trying to escape. We've got to get inside. But how? We're only water. I know. The water works. And the water works? The real water works. The one my model is modeled after. It gets water to where we need it. And we're water. And we're needed in the girls' bathroom. And I know how to get us there. Arnold, you're a genius. I am? To the waterworks. The reservoir. That's where the water is stored, and that's where the waterworks start. Class, prepare to rain. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Where's the reservoir? At last, I get to give my report. According to Arnold's research, a reservoir is where the water we drink is collected. Um, Arnold, if this is the water we drink, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah, it's full of dirt. Yuck. I can't believe we drink this stuff. Follow me to the mixing basin. Step one in cleaning our water. Things are sure getting mixed up in here, but it doesn't look any cleaner. Yeah, Arnold, what is this white stuff? More junk? Actually, it's alum. And if you look closely, Carlos, you'll note that the dirt is actually sticking to it and thereby cleaning the water. <laughs> it tickles. Yeah, but now the water is full of alum blobs. How do we get rid of this stuff? This way to the settling basin. Look, the dirty alum is settling to the bottom. And up here, the water's clear. Are we clean yet? Almost. We need to get filtered. On to the filtration tank, class. We will now filter through the sand and gravel, which you see below you, to get rid of any tiny particles which may have slipped through the cleansing process, so we can get really, really clean. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Frizzle. Oh, any time, Arnold. Don't let this dampen your enthusiasm. Hey, Arnold, now that we're clean, how much further to the girls' bathroom? Um, this pipe should lead to the school. Come on, you guys.
only one problem. There's not enough room in here to transform the bus. the water cycle, you've got to have a good sense of humid. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic School Bus, the producer speaking. Glad you're still there. I have some questions about the show I just saw on water. Uh, look, I'm really kind of busy now. Can you call back tomorrow? This won't take long. I just want to know who you think you're kidding. Kids can't turn into water. We know that. We just wanted the kids to behave like water, not be water. And kids can't evaporate either. And they can't become clouds or condense into raindrops. <laughs> Listen, we weren't trying to fool anybody. Everything the kids in the show did, water can do and does. Thanks for your question. Is this you again? No, this is another kid. I have a question about the water cycle. Water collects, evaporates, condenses. And rains. I know, I know. But you made it seem like it happens in a few minutes. Sometimes the water cycle can take weeks or years. You're right. And water frozen into a glacier can take as many as 10,000 years before it melts again. Which reminds me, my mother keeps telling me to conserve water. But two thirds of the Earth's surface is water. So how can we ever run out? We won't. While there's plenty of water in the world, it's not always where we want it, when we want it. In fact, only a tiny part of the Earth's water is drinkable. Really? That's right. So we have to watch how we use it and be careful not to waste it. So how come nobody said anything to Arnold for forgetting to turn off the water? Hey, haven't you ever forgotten to turn off the water? Sure, but that doesn't make it okay. Uh, I agree. And I promise you Arnold will never do it again. I heard that one leaky faucet can weigh several gallons of water a day. That's true. By the way, you never explained how a cloud snows. Well, you'll just have to watch our show on weather to find out the answer to that. Thanks for calling. Come on, Liz, let's go home. It's been a long day. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. Let's watch Sonic Underground. It's like I said, when faced with disaster, just move a little fast. Right. Leaders of the freedom. 
them fight. They seek their mother. She knows they do. <laughs> Is it time? If she only knew, will the prophecy come true? Sonic Underground. Sonic Underground. I long for my children, but I have to wait. To act too soon could seal their fate. They made a vow their mother will be found. Sonic Underground! What? We all feel proud of our special abilities and accomplishments. Too much pride can be a terrible trap. Another load of formerly free citizens on their way to be roboticized. I can hardly wait! <laughs> Man, I never thought I'd do a gig working on trucks. Manic the Mechanic. Whoa, that really blew his mind. What's wrong with that truck bot? <gasps> Someone's hijacking my prisoners! Stop them! What are you worried about? Whoa! Ah! Uh-oh! Swap bots! I don't think so! Wow! Who's driving a truck bot? should be more huh careful whoa what an ugly baby <laughs> food you gain dingo <laughs> ah. watch out one defective baby carriage coming at you i've got him this time <laughs> Cruising Bruce. Huh, I'll have to blast the door open and let the prisoners out. Put that blast in the past, sis. I've got that covered. <laughs> Poor dudes. Robotnik's already got him in prison uniforms. Those aren't prison uniforms. <laughs> They're dressed for a track meet. Why would Robotnik want to roboticize a track team? For weeks, I've been roboticizing the fastest Mobians I could find in order to create the key to capturing Sonic. Behold, the Speedbot! Is it as fast as Sonic? Nothing is as fast as Sonic. The Speedbot is only bait for the trap. Watch. Citizens of Mobius! To prove that he's the fastest being on the planet, my speedbot will race all challengers. The winner will receive a big, big prize. And a big surprise. Did I look all right? They say television adds ten pounds to you. You look fabulous, your evilness. And may I say, it's a brilliant plan. To never suspect your race is a trap. You mean, it's a trap? Well, 
Perhaps Sonic would suspect. He's not Dingo after all. Of course Sonic will know it's a trap. But he's so proud of his speed that he won't be able to resist the challenge. <laughs> Drum solo in this number. Cool, huh? Hey, I just heard Budnick's challenge all comers to raise his new speed by. Yeah, right. It's a trap. Uh, she's right, bro. It's a trap. Take a chill pill, sis. I know it's a trap, but if Budnick thinks he can make a robot faster than me, ha! If you want to walk into a trap just to prove how fast you are, don't expect me and Manic to come save you! <gasps> Butnik's never thought of the trap that can catch me. I'll show him who's fast and who's last. Glad you've stayed tuned, gang, because we've got more pop treats coming right up. I can't wait to see the next batch of videos, so let's go. See you soon, gang. Welcome to the Golden Glitter Castle full of beautiful golden furniture and with its own horse and carriage. Each Golden Glitter Princess comes with a golden tiara just for you. Dance all night to the magical music in the Golden Glitter Castle's gazebo. The Golden Glitter Castle and Golden Glitter Princesses. From character. Glitter Me Tattoo Workstation with everything you need for glitter tattoos. Choose a stamp, add glue, add glitter, then apply. Wow! Get these great glitter tattoos. They look so cool. There are so many designs to choose from. Express your style with Glitter Me Tattoo. From character. This house needs some Polly Sparkles. Add some glitter to your stuff. Turn your world from blood to wear. Polly Pocket Sparkle Style House comes with all you see here. Travel. Now, clouds know how to travel in perfect ease. But like us, sometimes if they know exactly where they want to be, they're off. Or they can narrow down their choices from a whole world of options. Or if they're looking for some inspiration, it's easy. Why not make your traveling easier? Expedia.co.uk Let yourself go Many a fortune hunter has been lured to their death here in Namibia's skeleton coast. But I'm heading now to one of the biggest diamond mines in the world. You don't want to get stuck out here without any water, that's for sure. and nissan-adventure.co.uk straightforward. You sorted out a pension and that was that. But now I read stuff and I'm thinking, is a pension enough? Should I be spreading the risk? Do I need to diversify my portfolio? I know one thing for certain, I'm totally confused. Make sense of investments with Norwich Union. Speak to a financial advisor. Ding, ding. Focus. Sales 
Email and MSN Messenger on your mobile. I tell you what, Puddy, I can't wait to practice those dance moves you just taught me. I'm going to be the coolest dragon on the dance floor. Come on, let's get back to it. Oh man, stop snoring. Or at least find a better rhythm. If I have dark circles under my eyes, somebody's gonna pay. Wake up and go back to sleep. He's gone. He's gonna have sawdust in his bed too. I knew it. He's gone to enter that race. How could he do anything that dumb? We gotta stop him. Hey, wait a Mobius minute. I thought you said if he walked into a trap, you weren't gonna help him. Do you always mean everything you say? Well, yeah. Hmm, if I'm gonna enter that race, I'll need a disguise. Where would I go to change the way I look? A beauty salon! Just the place to borrow a disguise. I want to look my best today. I'm going to the race, you see. This should do it. Now for a quick makeover. My own mom wouldn't recognize me disguised like this, but Butnik might. I'd better test it. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Swatbot. Can you tell me if I'm a dangerous member of the anti-Robotnik underground? I am unable to identify you. Cool. Innocence is against the law. Can't talk now. Gotta run. Hey, you! Identification confirmed. You are Sonic the Hedgehog. And you're history, bothead. Phew. Something tells me a disguise just won't juice it. I can stop looking like myself, but I can't stop acting like myself. I guess Sonya was right about that race, and I was wrong. Whoa. Did I say that? Anybody home? Hmm, must have run out for some black market sheet music. Good time to nail some new tunes. These fools will clap even louder when Sonic is captured and the Resistance destroyed. Keep a sharp lookout. Don't let Sonic slip through your fingers. I'll get him. These fingers are pretty sticky. Come on, you flea brain. How will we get in? Piece of cake. 
They rounded up people in dump bots just to fill the stands. You don't expect me to sit in bleachers, do you? <gasps> Get down! It's Bartleby. But who's that woman he's with? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, and he's having a very good time. You sound jealous. I am not jealous. Why should I care if Bartleby takes someone else to this stupid race? Now go get their tickets. I'm only here because I was personally invited by Dr. Robotnik. He and I are... Uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, coming through, coming through. Commoner. Your tickets. That's odd. I seem to have misplaced our tickets. No tickets. Ah! Hey, put me down. Ooh, a private box. And it's right on the starting line, too. Whoa, we must be right under Robotnik's own skybox. I'm going to enter you in the race so oh. you can keep an eye on Sonic. Huh? Hmm. Not really you. Not the front half, anyway. Cheetahs are fast, but Sonic might spot you. There! That should fool Sonic. Huh? Hmm. Yikes! Right. Hmm. What if Sonic wears a disguise? How will I know it's him? Oh. The SWAT bots have orders to attack the winner of the race. That's sure to be Sonic. Sonic's sure to wear a disguise, sis. How are we gonna tell which one's him? Robotic knows nobody's faster than Sonic. He'll go after the winner. And then we'll rescue him. Simple. Welcome to the first ever Mobius Challenge Race. The race that will prove who is truly the fastest being on Mobius. And which one of them is Sonic in disguise? I bet you 10,000 Mobiums that Sonic is the ugly one in the dress. That's Dingo. Ah, too bad we didn't shake hands on it. <laughs> ah, you risen, risen Welcher. That wouldn't work. Cool fireworks. Robotnik's speedbot is in the lead. Sonic must be playing it real cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll just watch the race. The speedbot is really proving himself to be the fastest being on Mobius. Hey, no biggie. I know who's really the fastest, and he's in nobody's butt. Bummer, May Horace. Sonya and Manic must think I'm at the race. They've walked into Buttnik's trap. Yeah. 
have a private box. I don't belong here. <laughs> That was Sonic. Whoopee! Hooray! Woo I won! I won! Oops. That fool Dingo won the race! No! No! much for my solo. your best shot while I'm not looking. Just the fastest thing on Mobius. I'm the tiredest. I'm too big to rake. You're so tired, I bet I could beat you to the van. Get serious, sis, and watch me haul some hypersonic haunch. That's our bro. Never too tired to be himself. Let's juice! One scorching pop party. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And join us next time for more pop music madness. Bye!
We've got all of your favourite shows right here on Pop. 